Hey guys, so I was just considering buying me some ether, <laughs> but then I realized is it a great time to buy altcoins right now? No, it is not. This thing is starting to go up parabolically. If you look at the altcoin market cap, um, it's uh, past few days, uh, Ether uh, again shot up, uh, Ripple also, and many others. Um, well, will probably uh, follow the pursuit. And um, um, it's, it's if you look at that chart, uh, it's, it's the last month, two months, uh, altcoin market cap has gone up from 2.5 to 10 billion, but now it starts to go up to it's now at 12 or 14 billion, and um, and also the market dominance of Bitcoin is again taking a nosedive. It had. Uh, um, flattened out at 66% but now it's at 62% so it seems well we're now in a second leg up um, for altcoins Bitcoin is actually finally has broken its all-time high and, um, and, 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 and and but it's not going hyperbolic yet but Ether uh, definitely has and, 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 and you see that many of the uh, other altcoins the the low tier uh, coins uh, or the coins with the uh, well, least amount of development um, like Litecoin and Dogecoin also start to go up a lot so I think we're entering the final phase of the bull market where uh, where, where things go parabolically um, and um, but a final phase can uh, will not take a, a lot of time in duration but uh, can go considerably higher than current valuations so I don't think it's a great time to sell yet, but it's certainly not a good time to buy and, uh, unless you're a trend trader, uh, of course, uh, but, but I'm not like that. I'm a value invest investor, but I do ride waves. So I try to buy when I think something is cheap, but then I hold it till I think it is not fair value, but expensive and until uh, the price uh, uh, until chances are very high um, that uh, you can probably buy it back a lot cheaper in the future sometime in the future I don't think we're there yet uh, but we may soon be um, uh, so 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 NXT order is now 5,000 uh, Satoshi combined it's now 5,500 Satoshi combined the all-time high was 13,000 Satoshi so if this would go to 13,000 um, uh, I think uh, that's a good time to uh, take some money off the table. Um, if it would go to 20, 30,000 is a good time to exit. And, and the same is true for many uh, other coins. Uh, if they breach their previous all-time high and go to two, three times their all-time high, if they have not been strong performers, eh, uh, then I think that's the best you can uh, expect. And it's a really great time to exit those coins. Um, but of course if they have um, really been strong performance performers uh, the past two years uh, like ethereum dash uh, monero um, uh, biteball uh, uh, decret um, uh, basically the new kids on the block or the or the guys that uh, succeeded in, in in getting strong traction uh, then of course um, uh, they will go into uh, new all-time highs uh, uh, a lot higher than than, than what uh, anybody has seen before, um, but of course some of these, uh, like Dickert for example, has gone up a lot already. Uh, it was one million market cap uh, four months ago. It's now 70 million market cap. So I think coins like this are not a great investment anymore. Um, but Ethereum, of course, I've been so wrong so many times on Ethereum. So anything I say, you should probably invert to get closer to the truth. But um, but um, yeah, um, 
Um, I, I am preparing myself to sell, uh, and, and I was tempted to buy on this new uh, second leg up, but uh, I'm not gonna do it. It's just too risky. Um, Z Cash, I've been close at buying. I haven't done it. I have just a very small position that's just to follow the coin, but not really invested in it. And uh, and and I regret it now, but uh, because uh, it has went up from about 52 to now 50, 65 or so, uh, so so it hasn't gone up parabolic yet. It, it's still you could still enter something like that maybe. Huh? And I think personally, bite ball you could also still enter though. Uh, yeah, uh, and actually Monero has actually not done very well compared to the others, but that was to be expected since it had done amazingly well the year before in 2016. So, so, so these are some coins you could buy, but, 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 um, but, um, yeah, um, I think Ether, Ether is very risky uh, personally, um, and, um, and and actually Bitcoin I think is still a good buy. Uh, it's just. Thirteen hundred dollar eh, or thirteen fifty is it has it's 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 it just broke out so so this this I think the risk reward is pretty good for Bitcoin even though the fundamentals are bad eh, of Bitcoin but uh, in a bubble um, fundamentals don't uh, matter that much um, it's a relative price eh? how much has something gone up already uh, if it hasn't gone up uh, a lot yet um, then it's a much better buy than something that has gone up a lot already I think. Um, but uh, 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 so it's not a great buy. I think just in general to buy altcoins, this should have been done a long time ago. Uh, but if you are, have not bought altcoins yet, yeah, you could buy some. Um, but I would stick with the quality coins, not the shit coins. The quality coins that haven't um, gone up too much yet, and uh, there are not many left of those. Um, but, but but it's true that actually you could also invest in shit coins right now that haven't gone up a lot either. Uh, some of them uh, have not gone up a lot yet, uh, and and actually you could invest in that. It's typical at the end of a bu bubble that those will go up the most. Uh, it's just not a person a strategy I dare to take myself because I hate um, uh, bag holding, especially if it's shit. Uh, so so I don't dare to do that. But that's the best. I think that's the best course of action if you dare to do it, to buy the, the, the crap coins that um, uh, a, 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 a top 100, um, well, starting top 100 uh, to uh, top 500 or top 300, and, and, and just look at those that haven't gone up yet and just buy a very wide uh, variety of those, uh, buy, buy 50 of those, uh, um, and, and hold them uh, till uh, Ethereum is in the news. Uh, finally, eh, because that's not happening yet, no um, no breakout stories in the news yet, so the, the bubble may go considerably higher, uh, but uh, once it's in the news, uh, and I mean on your local TV channel, um, then, uh, then of course it's time to just sell it all, uh, quality coins included, uh, shit coins and quality coins, everything, out. Um, but until then, uh, it's it's very important to not sell too much. Uh, uh, but um, yeah, so yeah, uh, very interesting. So uh, not a great time to buy, I think, uh, altcoins um, and crypto. Uh, but it is a great time to think about cashing out or buying a beauty like this. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? This is the Lamborghini Huracan. It's a coupe in a beautiful green verde mantis color. I really love this car actually. I really like it very much. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, so you can't see through the back. <laughs> if you want to see through the rear view mirror, you're not gonna see much, but um, yeah, beautiful color huh? and the coupe. I, I like the coupe. Uh, I was in spiders before, but I don't know. Uh, just looking at them here, there is also green spider. I will show it to you too. Um, I, I'm not that. Uh, I'm not that uh, excited actually. Let's take a look. Huh? There he is. Look. 
It's a green hurricane spider. It's also Verdi Mantis. Eh? You see? What do you think is the most beautiful one? And then we have a monster. It's a real monster. It's a very beautiful one. This is an Aventador. Um, but it's uh, it's also a, basically, they call that a roadster because you can't take off the roof. But it's a hard, hard top, so you have to take that manually off. Eh? But uh, I learned my lessons with these Lambos. They are just so costly. They always break down. And the Aventador is uh, even worse, uh, of course, than the Gallardo. So I hope it's a hurricane. It's a little bit better since it's the latest model and, and a new model. Huh? So let's hope that um, that uh, that uh, it uh, it doesn't give so much trouble. But yeah, these wheels I, I'm not so I don't think they are that beautiful like, if you compare to the other wheels of the spider of the of the of the coupe one. You see the wheels here? They are more beautiful, huh? Yeah. I've learned that, uh, yeah, buying a 10 year old car is not a smart move. Uh, it's just in general not a smart move because everything starts to break down on those cars and, and you can buy them cheaply second hand, but if you drive it a lot, you're gonna have a lot of costs. It's just not smart. and. Well, I was so inexperienced with cars that I thought I did, did a great deal, but I did not. But uh, so, yeah, if you want to drive a, a car, you should uh, a lot. Uh, it's smarter to, unless you know a lot about cars, which I don't. Hmm? But yeah, if, if you know a lot about cars, you can fix your car yourself or, or, or uh, and know how to uh, treat it properly. But if you're not uh, that uh, knowledgeable about cars like me, uh, the wise thing to do is to buy a new car or uh, as good as new one year old mm. and then I think there is an opportunity in these cars uh, uh, if you buy them one year old uh, I think it's two or three years uh, uh, that you have um, uh, warranties so so you still have one two year warranty uh, you do take uh, you can buy them considerably cheaper as new uh, but if you could find one that has um, had a minor accident or or, or, or just a bumper, um, a bumper um, collision, like just something small, it will actually be a lot cheaper. But all the rest, I, I don't know, maybe that's not so smart. I don't have an, enough knowledge for that either. Eh? No, I should buy probably a, 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 a new or as good as new car with no issues. Um, that's probably a wise thing to do for me and then uh, I can drive it a lot uh, and don't have too many uh, extra costs. So yeah, maybe something like this, this would be really cool. Eh? But um, what's the price? Let me check. 220,000 pounds, that's 260,000 euro. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for... Um, yeah, a coupe. Yeah, it's not a spider. A spider are twenty percent more expensive. But um, yeah, that's really a lot of money, I think. And, and actually, it is really lovely if you can take off the roof. It is lovely. Uh, it just doesn't look as beautiful from the outside as this coupe one. So yeah, these are the kind of choices I like to have to make in life. Um, but uh, to be able to make those choices, you have to um, huddle, uh, huddle. Um, until the timing is right, and, uh, and we're getting a lot closer to that. Um, fingers crossed that it happens, uh, because nothing is certain. Things can turn around, so I'm, I did take some money off the table. A month back or so and um, as it goes up I will likely continue to do that uh, slowly but I will really accelerate that strongly um, the moment that um, it's going well hyperbolic I have the impression it's just starting um, and for example coins like yeah, um, well clams for example had is, is low um, yeah uh, four months ago or so uh, so it's double that price 
but compared to its all-time high, it needs to like four or five fold from here. Uh, but I think if that happens, that's like that, that then it's cashing out time. Um, and the same yeah, for NXT order. Um, uh, yeah. Um. Inside the car. It's, um, of course, I really like about the Hurricane that the exterior is done very well, but also the interior has really got a really big upgrade eh, compared to the Gallardo. This is a supercar, uh, clearly. This is the Coupe, of course, and Look, you can't really see, like if you watch through the rear view mirror, you can't see anything. Eh? That's a problem. And you do have a little bit more storage, eh? you can put some stuff here too, you don't have that with the spider. That's nice. But I really like that. Yeah, everything is, 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 is done. Um, yeah, it's a big upgrade on the inside, really. Yeah. They could have done, of course, a much better job with storage. It's still really terrible. But yeah, you don't buy a Lambo. You can't have it all, of course. Huh? But um, I don't think the, these these Lambos are, are actually a great deal yet. No, they are too expensive still. You should get a serious discounts on, on cars like this that are not new anymore. But the price like this, for example, it's as good as new. Eh? The price is for as good as new a model. Eh? I mean, you should buy as good as new, but with a 30% off. Eh? But this is not 30% off. Eh? No, maybe it's like 10% off or 15 and that's not enough, I think. So yeah, um, that was it guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Uh, and uh, I will make uh, a video, uh, hopefully very soon, um, when I announce that I started selling strongly. Uh, my altcoins. Bye.